Good evening, colleagues. The House is resumed. Call on Government Order of the Day number five. Maritime Powers Extension Bill interrupted debate on second reading. Madam Speaker. I call the Honourable Ron Mark. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It uh, is my pleasure to be able to rise and speak on behalf of the Maritime Powers Extension Bill. I want to start, by, Madam Speaker, by acknowledging um, that this work commenced under the previous government. Um, I do acknowledge the Select Committee report that has been tabled in the House, which indicates that um, the Select Committee recommended that the bill proceed. There are a number of amendments made to it. I think at this point in time, the clearest, uh, it appears that uh, unanimity has broken out all over the House in support of this legislation. And I think I can pretty much sum it up by saying that all parties in the House, I was gravely concerned uh, the, about the, the levels of uh, drug trafficking which we have been witness to uh, and the increased level of that and the potential harm that it poses uh, to our communities, to our society, to our, and, and particularly to our young people. Specific, I don't think, Madam Speaker, that there's an MP in the House that doesn't worry about the well-being of uh, young people and not so young people who wish to indulge in some of these activities. But the fact of the matter is, is that trafficking drugs into New Zealand across our borders is a problem and there has existed an issue around our ability to effectively interdict. Now, this problem was first looked at by the previous government and I know this government, uh, this current government, looked at that work, Mecca Faitari, the Minister for Customs had looked at that work and decided that it was appropriate to progress this legislation. Um, it amends the legislation, effectively amends the Customs and Excise uh, Act of 2018, the Misuse of Drugs Act 2075, uh, to incorporate New Zealand's rights and obligations under Article 108 of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, uh, that's uh, UNCLOS, and, and Article 17 of the United Nations Convention Against Illicit Traffic in narcotics, drugs and psychotropic substances. Madam Speaker, it is well known, and I think for the previous speakers, including the Minister, has highlighted the issues that we face when we know that there is a vessel moving into our waters or towards our waters, um, or we suspect strongly, and we have intelligence to suggest that their intention is not good, that their intention is to, by some means or another. And we've had examples put before the House of the use of mother ships, where ships sit outside your territorial waters and they liaise with or RV with smaller vessels, which then come and pick up their illicit cargo and make their way into shore to connect with those elements who would supply our city streets and do the harm they do. Unfortunately, international law does not currently, uh, our laws do not allow us to deploy the assets and the resources that the Defence Force has to conduct these operations, and this legislation corrects that. I just remind the House that the Defence Force has a large number of resources that it's able to make available to customs operations of this sort, whether it's the P3, soon to be the P8, um, uh, aircraft, uh, whether it's naval vessels, whether it's uh, offshore patrol vessels, whether it's the use of uh, policing elements or special force elements to actually assist the Navy, assist customs with those boarding operations. What is fundamental and key to the success of those operations is that we as a nation act legally. This legislation enables us to stop board and search vessels suspected to be involved in drug smuggling in international waters beyond New Zealand's 24 nautical mile contiguous zone. Um, Madam Speaker, all I will say is that from New Zealand's first perspective, we have long been very firm and clear about our view and our, of this sort of uh, activity. We have seen many examples, and I'm holding a, a one such newspaper report here going back to November 2017, $20 million cocaine bust in Tauranga, 
We have, uh, interestingly, we have assisted Fijian authorities most recently on, in Wasa Wasa too, with um, interdicting a supply of cocaine that was destined for, um, for Fijian streets and assisting Fijian authorities. It's, it's, it's good to be able to do that. We've also, through the maritime operations as part of the coalition uh, element, deployed uh, operating uh, in counter-terrorist operations aimed at stopping uh, drug trafficking, which actually finances terrorist operations, stopping interdicting gun running, which equips terrorist operations. Our Navy, has, uh, in conjunction with our coalition partners, has been extraordinarily successful in the past, during the last term of government, in these operations. It is timely and appropriate that we as a nation give ourselves the powers to interdict these operations off of our own shores. And on that note, Madam Speaker, I'd simply say that New Zealand First wholeheartedly supports the passage of this bill. Madam Speaker. I call the Honourable Tim McIndoe. Madam Speaker, it isn't often that I find myself